Hi, this is Julia Mommy Dean, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about a Chrome extension called Read Aloud, a text to voice reader. Now, I am in um, a website that I highly recommend. It's called Newzella, and it provides a lot of great articles that are at different reading levels. And I, this is just the free version, so you can see that. Um, and just to sort of go through it, you can see all the general interest um, articles that are in the library. They have text sets for teachers. There's just so many great things. There's other languages. So here I am. I'm, I want to search Newzella, and I am doing a unit on communication. So I'm going to put in the word language. And, and then I'm going to see what kind of choices they come up. I, I did not refine my search, so now I need to, because you can see there's, just for that particular um, topic, there is 119 of those articles available in lower elementary school. There's upper elementary school, 229, middle school, and high school. So that was a pretty generic search. There's a lot of options that have come up. I'm now going to bring it down to the lower primary. I'm going to click on what is body language, but you can see, actually let me just scroll down, you can see there's a ton of really interesting articles here that are related to what I put in there. There's text sets, which is also super helpful if you would like to have um, several uh, texts that will relate to that topic. And I'm coming back up now to look at what is body language. Now, what's wonderful about this is that there actually are um, several levels that I could look at. So I, I'm going to come up here to where it has a uh, Lexile re reading level. And it will show me, it sort of gave me a little bit in the middle here. Now I have first grade, so I'm going to shoot a little lower there. And then it's going to modify the article, so now it's at a text level of three. Now, if I had older kids, I can make the text a little bit more sophisticated, and you can see here that it has text level of eight. And it also changes the word count. So these are very different types of articles. Um, I'm going to go back over here. I am going back to the lowest level that they have available. You can see how that changes things. And now let's say, for example, I still, this text is still not really accessible, but I want my students to read it. So I have downloaded um, onto my, onto my uh, web browser this read aloud text-to-speak voice reader. And although the voice is sort of robotic, it does read the page, and I just want to demo that for you today. What is body language? First, Lieutenant Zebulon Hanley crosses the finish line and wins a marathon. You can read his sense of celebration simply from his facial expressions and hand gestures. Photo, Rich Orias, U.S. Air Force. There are many ways to send someone a message. We do not have to use words to understand each other. In fact, we are always using body language. There are many different types of body language. We make expressions with our faces or we move our hands when we talk. Many people use body language while they talk. I'm going to come up here, talk. click on they make the icon faces again, and I am going to stop. Now you can see here that it doesn't give us, um, it doesn't give us highlighting features, but I didn't highlight it, I didn't put it on. So let me go into settings and show you a little bit about how that works. Now the voice was auto-select. There's a, a variety of people we could have here. I, we can slow down the speed of it so that it's a little easier for our EAL learners. Um, we can make it a higher or lower pitch. We can make it louder. And this time I'm going to put on text highlighting. And What is body language? First, Lieutenant Zebulon Hanley crosses the finish line and wins a marathon. You can read his sense of celebration simply from his facial expressions and hand gestures. Photo, Rich Orias, U.S. Air Force. There are many ways to send someone a message. We do not have to use words to understand each other. In fact, we are always using body language. There are many different types of body language. We may 
So I'm going to just stop there. You get the general sense. The, the text, the highlighting text comes up into a separate text box, which can be very helpful. At other times, if there's a lot of photos, it could be very distracting. Um, so it's sort of up to you. But this is a really helpful um, app that you can use, uh, so, excuse me, an extension that you can use that will um, help readers access articles and web pages. And I hope you will find it useful in your classroom. Um, thanks so much for listening. I hope you have a great day.